Continuing our lecture with strings, we're going to talk about arithmetic operators and just specifically addition because that's the one that really makes sense when using strings. Um, just some reminders here that when you are doing arithmetic operations with vectors, if I have a vector 1, 2, 3, and I add the number 2 to it, um, I can do that because this is a scalar. Um, and then that will give me that will give me the result of a vector 3, 4, 5. I can also add vectors to vectors. 5, 6, 7. And this will give me the result 6, 8, 10. Now the thing to remember, of course, is that you can only do this if what you're adding to is a scalar or if the vector that you're at the vectors that you're adding are the same size if you try to add two vectors that are not the same size something like this so let's do five six seven eight then you're going to get an error and that holds true uh, with strings as well uh, we're going to see some examples here where you can add a add a, a string to a scalar uh, something like this you can add a string to a vector something like this you can add um, a string to a character which would be the equivalent of a scalar something like this um, and you can add a string to a string something like this and all this works fine. However, if you try to add a string to a string that is not the same size, then you're going to get an error here. Okay. So let's look at uh, let's look at these examples and see what's actually happening with Mat with um, with MATLAB. So let's just say I had some variable I call it T E C H, and I say that's going to equal you went 8 of the string TECH. Now I did this example this way for a reason. This is a variable name because it has no uh, quotes around it. This is a string because it has quotes around it. So now TECH is going to get the vector remember you went 8 is going to convert this to its um, ASCII equivalent integer value equivalence and so it's going to get the vector 116, which is the ASCII value for uh, for lowercase t, 101, 99, and 104. Okay, so that's what that's going to equal. Now, if I come in here and I say a equals t e c h plus two, then what's going to happen is a is going to be um, 2 plus all these ASCII values. MATLAB is going, because you're doing addition, MATLAB is going to convert this to its ASCII equivalents um, automatically because there's no way it can add the letter T to 2. So it makes sense of it by turning the TECH into its ASCII equivalents and then adding. So you do 118, 103, 101, and 106. And then if you were to do a, a char on this and actually look at these characters, then you would convert these characters back to their, to their, um, excuse me, these ASCII codes back to their characters. And so you would get something V, G, E, J. Now, a lot of times when you do this string type of math, um, things don't make much sense because, you know, adding two to tech just gets you uh, v, G, E, J, which is not necessarily a string that matters. But there are times, and I'll, look, I'll show an example at the end of this, uh, there are times when this does make sense. Um, let's continue on. So that's adding um, a scalar to a string. Let's now um, add a vector to a string. So let's say if we had uh, E equals TECH plus the vector 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, um, that's going to give us uh, 
this in its because it's addition it's going to give us it's going to convert this to its ASCII codes and then do the element by element addition so you're going to wind up with 116 plus 1 which is 117 you're going to get 101 plus 2 103 99 plus 3 102 and then 104 plus 4 which is 108 okay and once again if you did a char on this and converted it back you're going to get you know the string u g f l which really doesn't uh, doesn't have any significance here all right so that is a string plus a vector now let's look at um, if we do a string plus a character now it's once again going to convert both of these to their ASCII equivalent so that's like saying uh, what is this vector plus this scalar and so when you do that addition you wind up with uh, 213 198 196 and 201 which now if you do a char on this you now are way up into the upper ass the extended ASCII codes and you get some crazy characters which we'll see when I do the MATLAB uh, demonstration but all of these are well outside uh, the normal the, the, the basic uh, ASCII range which goes up to 127 so these are your extended characters and uh, we'll see that in a second lastly I like to show what happens when let me introduce another string here that's the variable buzz and it's going to hold the ASCII values for the string buzz and that's going to give us 98 117, 122, 122. And then if I did M equals the string tech plus the string buzz, I am going to wind up uh, with the vector 214, 218. 221 and 226 which once again if I did a char on this it's going to give me these are well outside the normal ASCII range and this these are going to give me um, some of the extended characters okay all right let's go over to MATLAB and look at this so here I have all this set up and I have the breaks in here so let's uh, run this Stepping through, I set the variable TECH to uint8 of tech, so I changed the string TECH, the string tech, into uh, its ASCII equivalents, which there they are. Now A equals the string tech plus the scalar 2, which just adds 2 to each one, which you see here, 116, 101, 99, and 104 plus 2 gives this vector here, A. Um, and then if I do a char on that, I get VG, VG, EJ, which are just the... Um, all the letters that are two up in the alphabet from TECH. Um, then I come here and I do um, E equals TECH plus the vector 1, 2, 3, 4, which if you take 116, 101, 99, and 104 and add a 1, a 2, a 3, and a 4, this is what you come up with. Then I do TECH plus A, uh, which is excuse me, then I, sorry, on line 15, I convert um, this vector to its characters and I get UGFL, which doesn't really mean anything. Um, if I do I equals TECH plus A, it converts to A to 97, and so you wind up with I being this vector. Once again, converting that char throws you into the extended ASCII, which you get crazy characters like this. 
here I show that buzz u and a is this vector. And then when I add T E C H plus B U Z, um, B U Z Z plus buzz, I wind up with 116 plus 98 is 214, 101 plus 117 is, two, is uh, 218, 99 plus 122 is 221, 104 plus 122 is 226. So I wind up with this, and then um, I do the char, and I'm, I'm an extended, extended ASCII character set. What I point out, what I want to point out here is that you can add, um, you can add characters and strings. Um, Mat, what MATLAB does is convert it to its ASCII equivalent to do the addition. So next up, I'll show um, a somewhat useful example of this. One useful application of adding a character to a string uh, without running into the extended ASCII code or even uh, Unicode is in changing case. So if I say t equals uint8 of once again the string tech, um, that's going to give us t equal to the vector 116, 101. 99 and 104. And then if I say DIFF equals the difference between lowercase a and uppercase a, that will give me how far the lowercase and uppercase values are apart. And that actually is the number 32, uh, which also is the ASCII code for space, but we'll get back to that in a second. Um, so now if I come in and say a equals lowercase t-e-c-h minus the difference, the d-i-f-f -F here, then I'm going to wind up with adding 32 to each one of these lowercase values. Well, if I do that, excuse me, I'm going to, excuse me, I'm going to subtract 32 from each one of these lowercase ASCII values. If I subtract 32 from each one of these lowercase ASCII values, I wind up with the vector 84, 69, 67, and 72. Well, if I do a char on that, I actually wind up with the vector uh, T, E, or the string capital T, E, C, H. So by doing this subtraction here of the value 32 from lowercase letters, I actually convert them to uppercase letters because I'm I'm taking the ASCII down from the 97 uh, 122 range back down to the 65 90 range, and so that is a very useful thing. Also, um, I don't necessarily need to use the diff here because I understand that 32 is the ASCII value for um, for space, so I actually could do something like b equals tech minus a space here, and this will convert uh, TCH uh, to capital TCH because this will, once again, as we asserted before, this will convert to 32, this will convert to its ASCII values, this subtraction will happen here, and then it will be converted. And we'll see that when I go to the MATLAB example. Um, also, it goes the other way. Uh, if I, let's say, if I define capital T equals uint8 of capital T E C H, then that's going to be the vector um, 8469. Sixty-seven and seventy-two, and so now, if I do, if I come in here and say that I don't know E equals capital T E C H plus space, now this is going to add thirty-two to every value in this vector, and if I did a char on E, it would actually wind up being lowercase. T-E-C-H, because by adding 32 to each one of these, I'm going to get the vector 116, 101, 
99104, which is, as we see up here, lowercase t e c h. And so this adding the space and subtracting the space uh, from uppercase and lowercase letters um, allows you to switch cases between the two, and so that's sort of useful. Showing this in MATLAB on line 7, I show the, um, the ASCII values for T. Um, on line 8, I show the difference between lowercase a and uppercase a. On line 11, I make that subtraction uh, from difference, and that's the ASCII I get, and I turn that ASCII back into characters on line 12, which you can see we've converted uh, T-E-C-H, the string, to capital T-E-C-H. Um, I do it again on line 14, but instead of using the value 32 or the variable that has the, vari the variable diff that has the vari value 32, I actually use the, the uh, space character, and you can see it works just the same. Um, uppercase, I show the ASCII values for uppercase T-E-C-H on line 18. And on line 20, E equals uppercase D, C, H plus the space, which will convert that back to um, the ASCII values for lowercase T, C, H. And I show that using a char on line 21 uh, with variable F.